All right, looking at jump shot footwork today. A couple of rotational jump shots by Gordon Hayward for a game winner and Jeremy Lin for the lead in the fourth quarter. A couple clutch shots. And this is, I recently did a shot that Kobe shot like this and a shot that Dwayne Wade shot like this. This is really, really, really common footwork in the NBA, but um, it's not, it doesn't agree with the turn shot, which is pretty popular in coaching right now, or 10 toes to the basket. Because if you check the footwork on this right-handed shot and you imagine it, you start with leading with your left foot and then finish leading with your right foot. You start with your chest to the right side of the basket and you finish with your chest to the left side of the basket. Um, so it's it's fundamental in the NBA. Uh, we've got a video with Michael Jordan coming as well. Jordan always shoots this when he falls over his, when he turns over his left shoulder with his you know right chest coming around if that right shoulder coming around if that makes sense. Um, However, I think the turn is still an acceptable way to shoot going left because all these clips you see the guys going right when the ball is in their shooting hand, um, and that makes it pretty easy. But when you're stepping back to your left, we see that's when we see guys use the turn. Um, so I'm um, con continuing to break this down, revise these ideas. But the idea is for you guys, you can guys and girls, you can really add range to your shot by shooting a rotational shot like Gordon Hayward or Jeremy Lin. Just lead with your non-shooting foot and then turn through and finish with your shooting foot. Lots of extra power. So it's a nice move to have. NBA players have it. So something to use. Peace. And let me know what players you want to see breakdowns of as well. And we'll do that.